Hello, I'm Ella. Welcome to my art studio. Um, today I am going to show you how to use pens that I use pretty much every day in my own art practice. Um, they're the Unipin Fine Line pen and honestly these are an absolute lifesaver for me um, in terms of my own artistic work. So I'm going to show you today how to create a bird artwork where we're using very, very fine lines to capture the texture and the, you know, the weight of the feathers. And then we're using some very dark lines to create a sense of contrast, but also a sense of sort of depth and drama in the drawing. The original drawing is available to download on the Craft Beautiful website. You can download that, trace it on, and then we can get going. So, I've traced the drawing here and I'm just going to use for the I'm going to start with the bird and I'm just going to use the 005 and the 01 and that's because I want to build up color and I also want to keep a subtlety in the bird itself so as you can see just really really fine lines you can create you can almost, you, you'll be able to rub out the, um, the traced outline. So you can see, you can just create something really lovely and subtle. Throughout that. So that's with the 005 and you can just... And the great thing is, is that you can have a standalone line like that and it's really nice. And then you put them together and they can just create a tiny bit of depth but not too much. And if you want something a little bit robust just to add a bit of contrast and texture within the drawing, you just use the 01. And again, you know, you're just you're still creating that sense of delicacy, still not big, thick, you know, heavy lines, but you're just getting a little bit more coverage. If you do want a block you can use the 08 for example to just make the eye so nice and robust. Give them a little highlight, always give them a little highlight and you use the 05 just to give it that detail. And that's the lovely thing, you can use these pens together and getting that real fine detail So I'm just going to show you how to um, shade in some areas. What I've done is I've used the 0.1 and 0.5 to just build up some areas. And what you can do is you can create sort of shades of grey with, within this black ink. So I'm just going to do some very soft lines using the 0.0. 0.05. As you can see, you've already got a sense of depth as I'm starting in quite close to each other and then just moving out in a really expressive way. But fairly controlled, not um you have to go mad. And then what you can do is you can hatch, so you just go in a slightly different direction a little bit of depth and you've got these again just sort of flick up with the pen so you've got this sense of you know it creates a sort of roundedness we're, we're, we're drawing a 3d object so we want you know to create that sense of solidity in the bird. And again with this sort of downy hair on the back of his wing, on the back of his just at the start of his tail. Again just simple strokes. And I'll just show you how to do his legs as well. Again you want you don't really want to use a thinner nib here, you want a, a really confident line, he's got strong legs, he holds himself up on that branch, 
So you want to use a 0.3 and a 0.1 just to get that sense of weight. And don't be afraid to squiggle. Squiggle is a wonderful thing when you're uh, creating a bit of art. And we'll move on to the flowers. I've already started working on the lines of the flowers. So I've used my 0.1 pen for this. And just because we want a sense of depth, you know, these are petals folding in on each other. We want a sense of the lightness of the feather in comparison to the to the flower, but equally that flower still needs to be fairly light, so we don't want to use you know a big heavy weight pen on there. We still want a sense of the lightness in the petals. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of, you know, we want contrast, not really rocket science, it's just you want to have a sense of drama and pace. It's like, you know, it really is light and shade. Shading here. So don't be afraid to be a bit gestural, have a bit of fun with it. So just as I say, use the 0.5 to fill in and use that really lovely nib to create that lovely dark area. And then little pollen we want our 0.8 so we've got some real confident dots around there and you can see that you know you've got a real sense of depth and of texture using those pens and it's really easy as well you're not we're not being massively precious or anything like that. I'll also just show you very quickly how you can also create that sense of sort of lightness, but different shades with a thicker nib as well. So you've got your branch. You can see that you've got a sense of real can still get that lovely definition of line. So there you go. Really easy artwork using some lovely fine art pens.